using resistors and capacitors to generate spikes. Okay, from the formula sheet we've got a time constant RC. Rule 1, which I use, the voltage across the capacitor will only change slowly. And rule 2, the voltage across the resistor will always end up at 0 volts. So using these rules, if we're saying we've got 0 volts here to start with, and we've had a decent amount of time, this will be 0 volts at V out. And here we've got it marked on the graph. We're going to make V in jump up by 5 volts. Rule 1 says that the voltage here cannot, or the voltage across the capacitor cannot change suddenly. So if this jumps up by 5 volts, this side will also jump up by 5 volts. But rule 2 says you, you're going to end up at 0 volts across the resistor. So it jumps up by 5 volts and then falls down to 0 volts. If we make V in drop down by 5 volts, V out will also drop down by 5 volts. But because we've got the resistor there, it's going to end up at 0 volts. By putting a logic gate in, we will change the behaviour very slightly on this. So we're still going to get 0 volts at V in will cause 0 volts at X. Because we've got an inverter, 0 volts here will come out as 5 volts at the output. I'm going to make V in jump up by 5 volts. So what happened before, the voltage here also jumped up by 5, 5 volts at the logic gate, the resistor made X head towards 0 volts. There we go. Now, we've got a logic gate here. Switching threshold at the input is 2.5 volts. So I'm going to mark that on. Whenever the input is below 2.5 volts, the output's going to be high. When it goes above 2.5 volts, the output's going to be low. So it's going to be low for this amount of time here, which is the time taken to get from 5 volts down to 2.5 volts. In other words, the halving time, which is 0.7 RC seconds. I'm going to make V in drop by 5 volts. Now before, we had X dropping down to minus 5 volts, but the logic gate has got a diode on the input to protect it, and that means that the voltage at X would only be able to drop down to minus 0.7 volts. So you're going to get a small spike here. Instead of going all the way down to minus 5, it only goes down to minus 0.7. And because all of this is below 2.5 volts, it makes no difference at all on the output. So a rising spike coming in here, or rising pulse, creates a short pulse going down to 0 volts of 0.7 RC seconds.